the power of Twitter or networking, uh, your banner image says, you know, here for friends. So like, how has your, you know, kind of Twitter game, if you will, it, it, you know, evolved? Cause it used to be, uh, Twitter's a dumpster fire. And then now it seems like if, if you, you know, cultivate your feet a little bit, you know, do some things that are kind of, uh, forward thinking that it can be a, a quite a nice ecosystem of not just change or, or friends and networking, but like real impacts for your lives, for others, et cetera. Oh, without a doubt, I'd say it's almost categorically positive and it has made my life better. Um, I've met so nice. many interesting people. Uh, it seems to be a meeting place right now for people who are hyper curious in like 12 directions and just <laughs> and that's a great way want, <laughs> yeah just want to explore ideas and be like oh yeah you're here too you're here too it's so great because i mean when i quit my job in 2017 i didn't have that i felt very lost i felt very scared and like i did meet a couple people um but it wasn't until i started even like 2018 meeting and engaging with people on twitter it's like oh my god there's thousands of us all around the world um totally. And we grew up on the internet. Like we all have similar paths. Like, I don't know if you were like me, like growing up, screwing around on like AOL, geo cities, building websites, sure. um, like sim simulation leagues for basketball and wrestling and like beanie babies, trading cards, <laughs> sure, <laughs> all, sure. all this yeah. stuff. It's like, there's so many overlaps and like we all were there and like, for some reason, Twitter has been the place where everyone can like find each other so easily. And what, so what do you think the uh, biggest kind of, um, I don't want to say learning, cause I've said that a, a couple of times already, but like, I mean, what do you get the most out of Twitter now? I mean, cause I know, I know that's changed maybe, but it, you, you said it's categorically a good thing for you. Like, is there a future for Twitter or are you looking past it to, to learn or like, you know, kind of tell me a little bit more. I think I've been lucky in that Twitter doesn't really lend itself to the things that have kind of paid my bills, both like freelance consulting and mm. my strategy consulting course. Like all of that traffic comes in through like SEO and my personal network and like LinkedIn. Um, but Twitter is like pure just friends and like I really am just there to make friends. I love it. I love connecting with people. I love making friends. I love can, like helping people, bringing people together um and all these uh different things and yeah it's it's like if i share my half-baked thoughts too i get feedback and like that helps me like write stuff and create stuff and keep going and i don't know it's pretty awesome i don't i don't know if there's a lesson other than um share um share what you think is cool um except like politics i don't think that works really well on twitter that's just like a race to the bottom but if you have weird curiosities, like you can show up and people are going to be like, that's cool. That's awesome. That's a very good point. Yeah. We, we've kind of experienced a little bit of that as well. And, and it, it takes everything to try to not dive into the culture wars and <laughs> either side isms and all that kind of stuff that's going on. But um, I kind of want to put you on the spot too. Like say I, you don't, you don't have to do more than three or you can just do one, but who's your favorite follow? I would say, is it kind of Vinkatesh Rao, like VGR, because he's been in the books from the beginning, but like who, who's maybe someone that we don't know about or that is not getting enough kind of thought or process? I don't know. It's how, like, I love uh, Visa's account. And okay. Like, Visa's, not, not, yeah, for sure. I think that's a, a good starting point of like, just go there and like see the people hanging around in his mentions, like just kind, ambitious, curious people. Um, yeah, but it's often just like smaller accounts, people who engage and just like want to have conversations. Um, like I love VGR's thoughts on like work and the economy and all those mm -hmm. things, but like he, he doesn't even do that as much anymore. Um, True. yeah. And like the biggest accounts that get the most attention, I don't know. They don't have as much value for me. I really like the people that are just like earnestly sharing, um, stuff. 